Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do a simple Hello World program that's basically just going to demonstrate a small usage of Java code and uh, this is pretty much just for the beginners and, uh, and anyone who's maybe not familiar with Eclipse. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started here. First we want to make sure we're in the Java perspective. Uh, you'll see these little icons up here. Well, just one for now. This is the this is the Java perspective that we're in right now. And to change it, you can uh, click on this area up here. And of course, depending on how many different plugins you have installed for your Eclipse IDE, or uh, depending on what version of Eclipse you're using. Um, can also depend on what perspectives you have installed on it already. And our selection here is pretty basic because we just use the classic version of Eclipse. And um, if you go into Window and Open Perspective, this is a different way you can open your perspectives. And uh, you have the debug, the Java, and the Java browsing. We're just going to stick to the Java one today. Um, if you open up debug, you'll have different views that are uh, more geared toward debugging your programs. Um, a view is one of these little windows here. And uh, you'll just have different ones show up. I'll just show it to you real quick, just so you have a feel for it. So you have different ones here that are uh, geared for debugging. Okay. We'll go back to Java. And uh, to start on this, we'll go ahead and right click in the Package Explorer. Can't really see it that well right now because I have it set to a really low resolution. So we'll just right click here, go to New, and then Java Project. And we're going to call our project Hello World. And we'll just Created in workspace, just leave the rest of these default and finish. Alright. Now we'll want to right click on the Hello World project that we just made. Go up here, go to new, and then go to class. A class is kind of like a blueprint for how your Java programs are going to run um, with your classes and not all classes but um, most classes depending on how you um, have them declared can be made into objects which you'll then be able to reuse the functionality of those classes but I don't want to confuse you too much I'm just uh, doing a basic hello world program to get you familiar with it so we'll call it Hello World. And I'll just call the package test. A package is where your classes are stored. A, uh, a package can have tons of different classes, and uh, they'll usually have. Um, functionality geared toward a certain type of program like you won't have um, a bunch of classes within a package that um, work with unrelated things not usually at least the package system is to help organize your classes so we'll not worry about that though um, we'll just finish that up here and go ahead and create our little class and as you can see up here it's within package tests. Now we have this statement public class hello world. I'm not going to worry too much about explaining these uh, modifiers right now. Um, you have public and uh, that's usually the basic modifier. You have basic access. Um, there are other ones, private, and protected and even just the default one but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, write some code here 
and I'm going to write it within these two brackets. Um, within these brackets is the entirety of the class Hello World. So anything I write within it is what's going to execute within this Hello World class. So I'll make a new method here. Public static void main. And I'll make some more brackets there. And now any code I write within the brackets of uh, this method called main is going to execute. So I'm going to head and do system dot out dot print line hello world and every statement that you type in Java well most every for a while live but you're gonna have to have a semicolon at the end and Eclipse is nice enough usually to tell you this you can see this little red squiggly line indicating an error Eclipse is really nice about helping you out with things like that so we have our basic little program here now we'll go ahead and save it and then we'll run it and there you'll notice I press this little uh, run button to run this program you can run it as a Java application but I just clicked it and it automatically ran it as a Java application and then here you see hello world displayed on the bottom and um, that's the most basic Java program you can get just about and uh, that's about it thank you very much hope you enjoyed it